Hi, I'm Brooke Drassel with Brooke Drassel Equine Body Work. And as a follow-up to my video before about palpating your horse to feel for soreness or tightness, this is going to be a little demo video about things that you can do at home to help your horse before you get on a ride or anything like that, just to help them be supple and make your ride enjoyable. Okay, so when you start, so just keep in mind this is a really hot day in Minnesota, so she, poor girl, is sweaty. So when you start, if you feel tightness in the neck, take your hands and have them be a very loose fist and place it like just like this and place it on the neck and use a firm pressure and just push down with the muscle into the shoulder and release. Then you can go up here. It's like a, you're gonna be doing a triangle basically. So go along the top of the mane, the nice firm pressure Stop there, and then you can go down in front of the shoulder. And that's gonna help. You can do a few times, like literally do like five times, and that's going to help release those muscles and help them get a little more supple. And then another thing you can do, some horses like it, some don't, so you're just gonna have to see, is you can go along the mane and you can just kind of vibrate your hands back and forth and this will loosen up along the mane to have them be more supple all along their top line as well. Then as you move along your horse, the next easiest place to go to is going to be the shoulder. And the same thing, you make a fist super loose and then firmly press down. And I will cut this into like three areas as well. And another spot you can talk, do is up front. Same thing, loose fists, go like this, firm pressure, and push directly into your horse. Now be careful with this one, because some horses can be really sore here. Okay, so for the back, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your hand, so the flat of your hand, and basically you're gonna start here at the withers, and you're gonna run your hand back. Go nice and slow, and literally it's a nice firm um, pressure as well. So when you're moving, the hair is actually moving underneath your hand. So once you do that, you can do that probably like know, three or four times. Then you can get in deeper by using the heel of your hand and literally just go straight down again. And same thing, nice firm pressure. And now that you've warmed up the muscle, you can even go a little deeper and you can push all the way back. And then depending on how tight they are, you can do that like five, six, 10 times. Just um, as long as like when you run your hand across again, they should feel like they've got a little extra um, suppleness to their muscle. So for the hind end, you're gonna start the same way as the back. So I like to run my hand down and just feel how everything's feeling back here, warm it up. And then what I like to do is go against the muscle. I don't ever, like, I don't tell you to do this often, but I like, it's such a huge muscle, it's good to kind of break it up a little bit. So I'll go back and forth, so I use my fingers, and it's a firm pressure, and I just go back and forth along the whole top, the hind end. Some horses get really sore and they're gonna tuck under and not like that, so don't, don't do that. Just make sure to follow what your horse is telling you. So once I've done that, and that only requires like one or two times, then you can use the heel of your hand and I just kind of like do little circles all through the glutes to kind of help break them up. And if you want, a lot of people have a little massager like this and you can use these, you just hold, I hold my hands like this over it. You always wanna protect yourself. And I just, with a firm pressure, 
follow the glute back. I only like to do it on this glute right here. So just kind of stay in here. Don't get too far over because you've got a bone, you've got the hip, all those sort of things in here. So a nice firm pressure right here. And that will help loosen the hind end up. Okay, so then for your last part that I suggest you work on, it would be the hamstrings. So a lot of horses are gonna be really sensitive here. And the easiest way to tell is when you run your hands down, a lot of horses will either pick up their feet, kick out, pin their ears, move around. Just be very cautious of that. And if your horse is accepting of it, I would take and just be nice and firm, just like the rest, and run your hand down the hamstrings a few times. Just relaxing. Then you can go back and forth again. So you can run the hand back and forth down the hamstring. And then you can do it again. And each time you can start to get a little um, firmer if they're accepting of it and rub down there. And I would do that like maybe 10 times again and that'll help loosen up your horse's hamstrings. Okay, so now you are ready to get out there and massage your own horse. Um, a couple of things, like I showed you, this little massager, this is always nice. If you have a super sensitive horse, be careful with that and your hands are gonna be good enough. You're Basically, you're just warming up that muscle tissue so that it's easier for you when you're riding and everything else. And another thing is be very careful of everything for your body. So, um, I, this is obviously a little a smaller horse, but if you have a bigger horse or even her, like it's super beneficial for me to be able to get up higher. So if you can use like a mounting block, anything that's sturdy, that's not gonna rock around when you're stepping on it, um, a little ladder, those things are gonna be really helpful to you for when you're getting your massage going. It's gonna feel better on your body and it's gonna be easier for the horses to deal with. Um, and again, if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks so much.